स्पीड हैज बीन सच अ आई थिंक इट इज द ओल्डेस्ट प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर सुपर सुपर स्पेशलिटी आई रिमेंबर आई हैव जॉइंड एम एस इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एंड आई हैड सब्सक्राइब टू एर नीट इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फॉर टू स्पीड टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सो आई नो यू बैक देन आई I recall that this is the oldest. So this is my platform for securing uh, good position in super specialty branches. I think the videos are very comprehensive. Uh, uh, the faculty has covered almost everything. They have not left out a single topic of plastic surgery. And I found that in uh, the videos of Speed, there all there there is always a very comprehensive discussion on questions. So it's, it's a very question and answer based modules every time, uh, especially in the general surgery because I started preparing for NEET, so I watched the Bailey twenty eight edition videos. and the images based videos of the general surgery portion of the speed modules so i i found those very helpful sir so i bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members and team of speed uh, to dr pradeepthi prabaka for scoring a topmost rank of rank number 1 in any ss october 2024 session in mch plastic surgery congratulations to you doctor thank you so much sir thank you and uh, my heartfelt gratitude to the entire team of speed thank you so much most welcome doctor very happy to hear such nice words and um, we wish to know your detailed background from where you started from till date what all you have done uh, so i have done my mbbs from lady harding medical college in new delhi and i have done my ms in general surgery from maulana azad medical college in new delhi as well and uh, my post graduation was from 2020 to 2023 so i passed i am a pass out of 23 batch and uh, completed my post graduation in may 24 and after that i took a break i didn't join anywhere i didn't join any sr ship and i don't have any experience in plastic surgery i have not done any sr ship in plastic surgery so from june 24 to october 24 i was sitting and preparing for i9 exam this was my first attempt for super specialty exams wow great now uh, can we know why a special interest towards plastic Uh, so my interest in plastic surgery actually uh, I was not sure until my first and second year of MS. It only came after third year. Uh, now uh, because we were COVID batch, we didn't have much exposure to the super specialty branches. We didn't get any rotational posting. So uh, I had a very I have a very deep interest in artwork. So I saw that art and plastic surgery both run on similar principles, and that just generated uh, an an interest in me regarding this branch. and i also saw that this branch is very wide it is a head to toe branch so i started reading plastic surgery just out of interest and the more i read the more i developed interest in the branch so i thought that this would be okay for me <laughs> to pursue this branch further so you have a craftsmanship kind of a mindset but <laughs> <not> to <laughs> so deep dive into a broader general surgery perspective from head to toe you want to operate on it's an every possible organ possible turning to plastic surgery fantastic and uh, and this is a lot of uh, uh, new things happening in this specialty as well kind yes, and find a lot of curiosity uh, in learning such skills fantastic now uh, can we know uh, once you decided to do a plastic surgery then what all you did and how you started preparation and uh, what you did to achieve this topmost rank so uh, so sir um... first of all this rank is just a shock to me and i'm still processing it <laughs> so <laughs> i mean because i i just planned to give this at, as my first attempt so uh, initially i just i started my preparation by reading graben smith because i didn't have any knowledge of plastic surgery i didn't have any concept there was no background so i just started reading graben smith uh, i started reading uh, the general chapters first i started reading flaps and graft and then i shifted to head and neck the cranio maxillary uh, maxilla portion and then upper limb and then it, i just gave one thorough reading uh, of graben smith and that took me around 2 months but i realized that if i continue reading the book i'll not be able to actually get to exam i'll not memorize anything so uh, although it built a uh, a base for me uh, i then realized that i need to do something to memorize and uh, do something to sit for the exam for october 2024 then i started watching videos that is where uh, speed videos came in and i started watching videos then uh, and then i uh, watched especially i watched the graben uh, the module on graben smith of tables and images that is the module that i picked up from uh, speed coaching and i have watched that a lot of times and uh, i've also watched a lot of aesthetic videos in the hand videos in the congenital and pediatric surgery portion of the plastic surgery all those i uh, uh, covered in the next two months after reading finishing a reading of rabbinsworth so these uh, i've done this and apart from this i've also read michigan manual 
uh, I've read uh, quite a lot of portions of Michigan Manual because I think that is a very structured and very good layout. The book has a very good layout. So uh, this is the only thing that I have done for my for my preparation. And this was my planning for first attempt. I thought I will do more for my second attempt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me try for this attempt and see what's coming <laughs> out of it. And let us see and try to accordingly to get on to the next. Huh? I think uh, there is no more uh, attempt facilitated after this <laughs> of our... Uh, said reasons and got what you wanted. I mean, you 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 didn't expect. I mean, that's what you said. You didn't. No, expect. sir. No, I didn't expect this at all. Wh I what do you think is a key? I mean, uh, that gave you this. I mean, you after the exams, you might have felt, and after the results, now yes, I sir. did this. That is the key. I mean, something like that. I mean, how many questions did you attend, doctor? So I attempted uh, sixty-seven out of eighty questions. Okay, so it's a conservative only. So you have done yes, a sir. conservative approach. <laughs> Uh -huh. Yeah, because I had, uh, I think I completed 75 questions, but in the final 15-20 minutes, I removed all the questions that I felt that I had doubt. doubt. So that <laughs> came down to 67. <laughs> so that means you answer only for questions you know for sure. The answer for yes, sure. sir. I did only uh, those questions. So in theory, I have got 61 out of 80. So I think I've missed out on two, three questions also out of them. So that means this... Uh... 13 questions or from which area? Plastic surgery or general surgery? Which you like? Uh, I think most of the questions that I left were from general surgery, sir. Because the plastic portion was relatively easier and the general portion was on a bit of higher level. And, and then I, I had only four to five months of preparation in which I was so focused on plastic surgery that I actually missed out on preparing for general surgery. So that was only based on what I had studied earlier and uh, I've not revised much of general uh, surgery. I think honestly, I missed out a lot. So I in the exam also, I missed out on the questions of general surgery only, I think. That's the correct approach. You have done a strategic approach. Let <laughs> general surgery be there. Let me answer what I, I know in that. And I focus yes, on plastic. I think that is the edge that gave you the topmost rank, I believe. Now, what would be advice for people who are aspiring for uh, MCH plastic surgery? Uh, what do you want to tell them? I think I would like to first uh, begin by saying that if I can do it, anyone can do it. <laughs> and <laughs> given such short amount of time and being a fresher and I have no uh, experience and no experience in this field. And I think the most important things to uh, remember is not is to revise as much as you can. The frequency of revision should be a lot. You should you should go through the entire syllabus at least four to five times so that you are able to solidify those facts in in your memory. Even if you know the concepts, you will not be able to recall all the factual based questions that are going to come in exam. And those are a lot. Uh, I saw in the plastic surgery portion there were a lot of factual questions, not conceptual questions. So the frequency of revision should be a lot. I think that that is the most important thing that I'd like to say. The frequency should be at least four to five times of the entire syllabus. And no. I think a, a very easy approach is to just watch the videos. Watch the videos and keep watching, keep watching till you memorize all everything. So I think that is the key. So, I mean, what, what was the experience with Speedbeam? Is it relevant to the exam? Because I heard a lot of people saying uh, in the interview, I mean, uh, for, sir, I picked up many sources, but for my rank to be top one, there is an edge that is required. <laughs> for that edge, <laughs> there is something which is required that was available there and I am here. I mean, is that the statement justified uh, yes. from your experience or I mean, what do you feel? that? Sure, sir, because I think the videos are very comprehensive. They, uh, uh, the faculty has covered almost everything. They have not left out a single topic of plastic surgery. Even if there are few things that are missed out, you will not get those things from any other source that are available. Uh, like the modules on transplantation, there's a very detailed comprehensive coverage on aesthetic part of the uh, plastic surgery. And in my stage two, there were a lot of questions on aesthetics and Botox. So I think that gave me an edge as well. I, I watched all the modules on aesthetic surgery as well. So I think that, and I found that in uh, the videos of speed, there all there there's always a very comprehensive discussion on questions. It's a it's a very question and answer based modules every time, uh, especially in the general surgery because I started preparing for need. So I watch the Bailey 28 edition videos and the images based videos of the general surgery portion of the speed modules. So I, I found those very helpful, sir. The, the table and images modules also. Those are very helpful. Okay, doctor. Now, time to thank and whom all you want to thank. They have made your career till what you are today. 
I mean, you can use this platform to do so. We are strongly believe uh, in a culture of gratitude. <laughs> so uh, that either be for an MBBS or a PG or superficiality, I mean, that gets us because we feel always the mentors. We always yes, feel sir. the parents and support system have to be honored yes, when you are successful. So in, in case if you are, wish to do that, you can do it. So. so I would like to uh, begin by thanking the thanking my God. I think that would be the first thing that I would do because it's his blessings. I think I, I had a very tough journey till now, and uh, to culminate into this, this is just his blessing. I believe more than my hard work and more than discipline, and of course my parents and my family because they are my only support system and they have been like through thick and thin with me. And then uh, I think, but I believe when it comes to exams and being a student. uh there's one person who comes above god and above parents and that is our guru that is our teacher so i believe that the most important the the gratitude should go towards teacher and that should go towards you sir building this platform <laughs> so i think uh my heartfelt gratitude to you and the speed has been such a i think it has, it is the it is the oldest platform for super super specialty yeah. i remember i have joined ms in 2020 and i had subscribed to neat in 2020 but to speed uh, to oh. 2020 so i know you back then i i recall that this is the oldest so this is my platform for securing a good position in super specialty branches so that's it sir great doctor so it's great that to have you today in the session and we are really honored and uh, we are happy that you have come back and to share some of your experiences with us thank you so much sir and we once again wish you all the very best and all the success uh, for what you wanted to do today you want to do as a plastic surgery and as a plastic surgeon i think you, you will make a greater impact uh, in years to come for your practice for your department for your specialty and for your patients for that advance wishes and congratulations bye bye thank you so much sir thank you so much sir